Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us, إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالِ بِالْخَوَاتِينَ Actions are judged by the way they end. So, is there any indications, are there any signs that will mean that this person had a good end? And the answer is yes. What does a good end mean? A good end means that someone died in a state that is pleasing to Allah Azza wa Jal. The ulama have derived from the Quran and from the Sunnah few signs we will be discussing today insha'Allah ta'ala. The first sign, uttering the shahada. If somebody's last words are la ilaha illallah, Muhammadun Rasulullah, that's an amazing sign that this person died on a good end. What's the evidence? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told us in the hadith that whomsoever his last words are la ilaha illallah, dakhala al-jannah, he will enter paradise. Second sign, dying with sweat on the forehead. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said the believer dies with sweat on his forehead. Alhamdulillah, and that's a great good sign. Third, dying on the night or the day of Jumu'ah, of Friday. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said there's no Muslim who dies on the day of Friday or on the night of Friday, except he will be protected from the trial of the grave. Allahu Akbar. So everything I'm giving you, I'm giving the evidence with it. Dying as a fighter for the sake of Allah, he will be considered a shaheed. That's an amazing sign of a good end. The last one is dying while doing a righteous deed. Somebody died while there in sujood. Somebody died while they were fasting. Somebody died while they were giving charity. Somebody died while they are reading Quran. All these are great signs of a good end. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, when Allah wills good for someone, he uses him. So the Sahaba said, what does he uses him mean, Ya, ya Rasulullah? He said, he guides him to something good and then he takes his life. Subhanallah. So we see some people that they were sinning all their life and then the last month or the last year or the last period before they die, they became righteous, they became people of the Quran. They, that's a great sign, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. They repented and they start practicing uh, good amal. That's a great sign of a good end, Subhanallah. Now, these are all good signs of a good end, but very important, my brothers and sisters. Number one, we cannot guarantee that this specific person is going to Jannah or that specific person is going to hell. We do not know. And these signs are just signs that give us hope, inshaAllah ta'ala, that this person will be from the people of Jannah. Second very important point are these good signs apply to the people who are practicing their deen. But this person does not pray and this person, he uh, is very disobedient to his parents. We cannot say, oh, this guy has a good end. No, it has, this person has to be a practicing person and uh, doing his uh, uh, obligations. And then one of these signs happen to them at their deathbed. So we will say that this person has husn al-khatima, a good